You know what's fun about him is is that his look changes constantly, even from his hair to his makeup, and sometimes to his demeanor. You know, he he definitely I wouldn't say he has personal uh, multiple personalities, but um, he gets bored easily. So constantly he just wants something new. There are some elements like his rings, his chains uh, that are the same, but for the most part. Everything is completely different, and I think that's what's going to be fun when people watch the episodes because they're going to look at like, what is Magnus going to be wearing today? And I find this to be really fun because it's it's fun. It's almost uh, what someone uh, views as painting. I think you know, fashion is basically that. It's it's an, it's an art form in, in, in my mind. Uh, so it's definitely fun to to put it into context with with what the character is. But for me, I honestly have grown to just love to put t-shirt on some jeans. Um, there are moments where I like to change the color of the t-shirt. So, you know, that, that'll that definitely, um, it's a big step for me. But, you know, I, I do, there's moods where I was just like, I just want to wear like some nice shoes and, and you know, some nice slacks and, and go with a little bit of bar Barbados and, you know, get fashionable. And there's ones that I don't even know what the label is. I mean, it just, it's, it looks comfortable. Let me put that on. What's fun is conjuring up random things. You know, I think he's, he's able to conjure up almost anything. He's able to conjure up books, or he wants a glass of wine. And sometimes it's, you know, he wants to work for it a little bit. Uh, so he actually does it like other human beings. But that's what's really fun is he can basically make anything appear out of nowhere. Cassandra, you know, I only met her, I only met her once and she was wonderful uh, explaining how, how truly important Magnus Bain uh, is to her. So I, I think there is a pressure to make sure that, you know, we achieve that. And uh, I, I think uh, that we have, outside of the exterior, I think interior and, and, and the deeper meaning of who Magnus Bain and what he actually means to, to a lot of people. There's a, there's a respect uh, that, that we all have and I have for what she has created in the books. And, you know, we want to do it justice and bring it to life and, and um, putting it in, in movement, you know, an actual living movement. And, uh, but what's incredible is that it was it came to life already off the books, uh, and, you know, and I think for a lot of people that's why it's so important to them because it's he has elements that it's truly important uh, that everyone kind of has in them, you know, whether it, it be the compassion component, dark moments, and and uh, the the party kind of um, wanting to uh, just be open, expressing themselves. Uh, truthfully and honestly. Every time I see uh, Dom doing some action sequence, I just get the itch. You know, it's just coming from a dancer and then also I've done, you know, an action film where I did a lot of martial arts. So it, there's, that, there's that little bit of an itch because, you know, sometimes I can only stand still for so long. So seeing him, I'm a little, a little jealous of him doing, uh, getting to do some uh, action sequences and, and some stunts. So hopefully Magnus can, um, can take part in that too in the future.